Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So in case if you don't know, I use Emacs as my primary text editor because it's the most genius software which I ever learned. And once you start using it, once you understand it, even you're going to love this thing because it's like my life got split into two halves. One is pre Emacs, one is post Emacs. I just love it. It's my primary text editor. But the problem is there is a lack of respect towards Emacs among people. And these people are people who don't really understand it. So in this video, I'm going to explain you that why their arguments are wrong. And I'm just going to do a little bit of rant here okay. because people just turn Emacs into a meme. They don't take it seriously. They believe it's just a joke. When I say I use Emacs, they just, you know, smile like a smug smile. So, all right, whatever. So I use Emacs daily. It's not like I just do configuring. Like I have my configuration. I tweaked it. I don't even remember when I last time tweaked it. Okay. So this is my configuration. All right. So. You need to understand like how Emacs work in order to, because people also say that Emacs is bloat and there are people who, you know, elite minimalism kind of people. And they say that they don't want to use Emacs because they have an environment already. This is not how it works. Okay. So let me explain you. For example, Emacs have a file manager. Okay. So let me open some directory. What directory I should open? Let me open pictures. Okay. So Emacs have a file manager inside. Now people don't like it. People say, you know what? I don't like a file manager inside my editor. This is not, uh, this is not the kind of life I want to live. But the thing is that Emacs have this in a text buffer. Everything you see in Emacs is just a text buffer. So it's not like Emacs have implemented a complete library or some, you know, GUI or anything. It's just using the pre-existing functionality to provide you something nice. Now you might say, all right, but you know, it have those features. Like I can copy something, I can cut something, I can delete something, I can do file operations. So it is like, uh, it implemented all these. Now the thing which you have to understand is that, okay, Emacs have a um, move file. I don't know, like move file to trash. Okay. Emacs have like functions like this, but the thing is that these functions, for example, make directory. Okay. These, this make directory use the GNU core utils inside. Okay. So when you use some CLI software, like if you use YouTube DL, all right, if I open like YT DLP, so what is YT DLP? So YT DLP is just a CLI interface, but in the end of the day, it's a Python library. You can write a Python script to use YT DLP, you know, instead of using, uh, this interface. So if I use a Python library instead of, you know, using this uh, CLI interface, does it mean that, uh, is it bloat? Like is it's the same thing. Similarly, if you are using just an ELISP wrapper, so ELISP is the language which Emacs use instead of just uh, opening, like instead of just running GNU code util, does it make a difference? Is it a bloat? In fact, it's a really nice feature which Emacs have provided in order to just do some file management directly from your Emacs instead of just going to a terminal and do CD or LS. And because the thing is that you are using Emacs for editing. So this is something which uh, you might need for editing, right? There are some other things. So just think of it like this, like a shell script. So if I write a shell script to just uh, run some commands, which are GNU core util, is it upload? All right. It's not all right. It's just a clever way of doing things. So Emacs is providing a really nice file browser by just using this. See this, this is a buffer. And since Emacs is a GUI software, they, they are allowing us to see images inside Emacs. So this is not a bloat. So you can use it. It's, it's just clever because it's a text buffer. Emacs is the, doesn't do anything other than text buffer. It's just these buffers are so powerful. You get some functionality. For example, you can use EU, which is browser to, you know, look into blog dot any website. Okay. So you might don't like this. You might say, you know what, this is not cool. Like I don't want to use Emacs as my, you know, for a browser. Now the thing is, this is also a text buffer. It's nothing different. It's a text buffer is just a place where you do editing. So Emacs is an editor. So it provides these text buffer and this is just text, which Emacs is fetching and the core things which Emacs are using, which is Lisp functions doesn't implement all this. Okay. It's not like you have a complete browser implementation there. It just use some other softwares and just give you all this. Okay. So it's, this might be confusing, but let me explain you something. Okay. So 
if I like open something uh, like this, so I can edit this right now. All right, I can edit this, I can write something, but I can open read only mode and now I cannot edit it. Okay, so there is no difference between this page and this page. All right, it's the same thing. So this argument which people create, like they say that these things like uh, Emacs do so many things, I don't like it. It's just the functionality which you can you know implement and do. By default, yeah, Emacs provides few things like it's providing a browser, but most of the things which you see in other people's config, they just use some third party packages. So since Emacs have Elisp, okay, in case if you don't know, Emacs have a Elisp interpreter inside, which means it's like Python interpreter, it's, which means that it have a language, a complete programming language inside, so you can implement something. But most people who use Vim, they are also doing it. They have like Lua interpreter now, NeoVim, where like you guys know it, like NeoVim users know it. E even Vim have Vim script. And the reason why these people are implementing this is because so they get like function extensibility. Emacs already have this, okay? So what I can do is I can like, if I go to my config, so I have like these elisp function, like my entire config is like elisp, okay? So for example, uh, let me try to show you log diary. Is there any function which I created? Okay, I don't have any of my function, but I'm using these packages and these packages just give you elisp functions, okay, which you can run. So you need to understand that this is something which you need in an editor so you can extend it you need uh you know like for more packages you even vs code do something like this with javascript i believe okay so don't say that emacs is bloat because it doesn't make sense like it is just because some users decide to install some packages to just extend their you know ab okay, what was the word ability and the reason though they do this is because they feel so comfortable just living inside text buffers okay they they just like it they just want to search text like this. like just think about it like where it is better to do email management inside emacs or outside emacs of course inside emacs because email is just text based okay you just what you do in email, email you just write email okay so you need an editor so why use thunderbird and not emacs so this is why people do it there are a lot of things which uh, if you do inside Emacs, it's better. So even this file browser is a little bit useful. But the problem is like, again, I'm just repeating myself, but the problem is people don't like using browser inside Emacs, but it is a text buffer. It is not like your editor is not doing anything out, out of the word. It is just using Elis wrappers to just do a few things, which uh, just making your life a little bit easier. So Emacs might have a game like Tetris. People don't like it. But the thing is like, it is just a buffer with some elisp code so all you are getting is just little bit extra code it doesn't matter you know like i had a discussion about this thing like in the emacs group i asked like why uh, we have these things in emacs binary if you don't like it there are plenty of other emacs binaries which doesn't come with any of these you know games or anything there are lean version of emacs i don't know like you can just search that uh you will get okay it's it's getting fun let me kill it also, the things like Emacs and OS is also uh, completely stupid. You need a kernel for a, an OS. The thing which Emacs can do is you can install a window manager called EXWM and turn your Emacs into a complete working environment. And it's a good thing because sometimes you might want to just use Emacs in your computer. You don't want to open your desktop environment and then open Emacs because you just want to turn your laptop into a programming machine. And this is something I did and it is really useful. So this is the power which you get with something so minimal, something so simple with just buffers and just elisp and you know, you can have some packages which do a few things. But if you don't like any of this, if you just want to use Emacs as an editor, just like me, so I use Emacs just for editing. I don't do anything else. Okay, so you can do this an editor like right now i'm using my emacs just like an editor you can use terminal inside emacs some people say oh i don't like that like i don't want to use terminal inside emacs but the thing is this is also just a buffer i don't have any of it okay so this is just a buffer so there is nothing extra which emacs is doing it's just like using buffers in a clever way you try using ed then if you like minimalist software then just uh, use this software called ed which is not installed Add is like an editor which is uh it works like let me show you it works like this 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 is an editor guys okay can you work with this no 
सो होप यू गाइज अंडरस्टैंड माई पॉइंट्स